Hello everyone, welcome to watching the lesson two of the SVP development series install the relay server. This is Kevin Hu. So the relay server is a very interesting component of uh, SVP uh, to increase the security level of uh, the whole system. So here we have the sidebook open up. So all the documentations can be found of installation installing the relay servers here. So we click install relay server on IIS. Also the relay server can be installed on Apache. So we choose the relay server installation file for 40, 64 bit systems so we have the installation file already extracted into uh, the directory so here if you are running IS7 it's very easy procedures all you have to do is to uh, edit uh, the selected file the application host dot config and then open up a web browser to test we have already had the application host dot configuration and here we have uh, Edit all the subnodes following the sidebook documentations. So in this demonstration, the, all the text editing has been done before. So if you are familiar with IIS, you can. Uh, look into all the scripts. I'm not a IS expert, so I do exactly following the sidebook. And then we will find the directory Windows system. So these two config and here we can choose from editing this file inline or you can we can copy it into this folder. So here we can start it's already started IIS, so we choose to restart the IIS server. There's also some steps that you have to config in the Cybers Control Center. So you have to config a relay server. You have to do some configurations. Also, you have to config the outbound enabler, which is the component resides on SVP server, and it will pull uh, frequently to relay server and get the requests so here I, I, I do not want to go too much details so let's go back to uh, SCC control center so here we can see from the relay server configuration page uh, we can configure a relay server like this we click the quick configuration so we can 
um, write down the relay server hosts HTTP host, HTTPS host and here we have a replication farm token and messaging farm token so this configuration has already been done for you so here you can see from the server configuration node uh, we've already had several um, outbound enabler sessions or instances already starting the three of the instances is for messaging farm and the other three is for replication farm so here we choose the configuration and we choose the generate button so here we can see we can generate a relay server configuration file this configuration file is automatically generated according to the configuration that you have imported so here we have generated an, an relay server dot config file we will put the config file uh, into the destination folder so before doing that we will look into the configuration file we have uh, several configurations we have uh, the farm ID we have the uh, replication and messaging farm IDs generated also we have the IP address and ports generated so we will put this file or overwrite the default is.config file here and also go back to the documentation so you can see there's a um, next step after you have uh, yes we have to config the state manager as a service so run this script to create a windows services for relay server so what you have to do is you have to start the IS before and then we will create the service and you start service after starting the IS server so you see the services I have already created uh, so in the task manager you can see uh, let me see Just a moment. So there should be a instance. So okay, okay, that's fine. Yes. So we have already started the service. And here we have the outbound enablers instances we can stop the instance you can check the status so later if you are doing uh, troubleshooting you can try to retrieve the log files to see if the outbound enabler has been started successfully So here we to start you can set up a debug level you can start you can refresh and see the status is running so we retrieve the logs 
so the outbound enabler has to be started successfully so here we can see we have retrieved the logs to our local desktop we have a HTTP response 200 OK successfully connected to backend servers So make sure you do not see any errors here. So we start all the instances. Okay, oh, always running. And so the outbound, yes. So let's make sure that uh, for the relay server service we also generated a log file yes we can see the log file um, has a lot of information so you can see the authentication process you can see the farms so here we have to uh, do a quick text. We have the Sybase Mobile Workflow application, which is a hybrid container of the SVP development. So here we set up the server names of the relay server. We have uh, HTTP port 80. So we have the farm ID. It's a messaging based uh, farm ID. And here we have a username. So we save. So we can see that it's already connected to a server. This means that we already uh, configured the relay server properly. So thanks for watching this session.